going to learn about choking and there are two kinds of choking. So there's the partial blockage where someone is making a sound of <coughs> that kind of a sound. Any sound is good. When there is a choke, there is a blockage and there is obstruction. And when it is a partial blockage, it means that they can still breathe. So if you can hear a person making any kind of <coughs> cough, cough, sorry, that is a partial blockage and that means that they are still breathing. Yes, they're choking and yes, it's bad and yes, they're going all red in the face and all the rest of it, depending on the severity. But be assured that if you hear a sound, there is air getting through and they are still struggling. What do you do for a partial blockage? You do a lot, but not a lot. You protect them from other people wanting to smack them and you reassure them and say, keep coughing, keep coughing, keep coughing. I had a child who was um, choking and he was very scared, he was 12 and he was choking, choking and he was being very dramatic and, and coughing away and I was saying, it's okay, it's a partial blockage, keep coughing and he was thinking, oh, it's so casual, he thought he was going to die, but I was like, just keep coughing, keep coughing, keep coughing and, and he coughed it out and he was like, you didn't even help me and I was like, I actually did help you because I stopped your dad who's really strong from smacking the life out of your back and making you bring it all in the wrong way. So remember, making a sound, protect them, and watch out because everyone else wants to smack them or do hind legs, which we don't do in Australia. So making a sound is good, protect them, protect them. Babies have cough reflexes when they're born, before even when they're preemie babies, they have cough reflexes. And that's why they cough, because it's bringing things out of their airways. So be assured with that. Then there is the big, bad, scary stuff of a full blockage where no sound is coming out, and that's when it's a very bad situation no sound no sound is emergency you need to do things i'll show you baby child and adult in that in that what way <laughs> losing stuff so with a baby if it's a, a, a if they're starting to cough just hold them support them and let them cough 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 okay that's great they're coughing if they're not coughing and they're not making a sound you need to do five back blows and you need to do five chest compressions so with a back blow you hold them through and you will have learned this. So you're holding the head. Now this is a one kilo mannequin. If it was real, I think that would be about nine, eight to nine kilos of heavy. So two big bags of potatoes. So you need to support them. And so I can have them supported like this. And I'm holding the head, controlling the head, and I'm holding the weight on my leg. So I've got their head down. I'm opening up their airway. They're not forward. They're not back. They're neutral. And what I'm doing is I'm, you can watch both hands. I'm actually, you can hear on the mannequin. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Now, you might see I'm actually getting in from both, but one, two, three, four, five. It's not, not banging it around and hanging them upside down and all that crazy stuff. It's not. It is a controlled one, two, three, four, five. In between those fives, I'm looking for any sign of obstruction release. So I'm looking for, I'm listening for any coughing. So if I'm up to one, two, and I hear, Ehh! sorry to be a baby. Ehh! If I heard that, I'd stop because I know that the obstruction has been moved enough for them to start Ehh! and coughing and making a sound. So you're listening to see if you, in any one of these, five has moved the obstruction and they can actually breathe again. So I'm up to a four, five, nothing's changed on their back and I'm doing the same as CPR. So it's one, two, remember you're listening and you're looking. So it's one, I can't see, I can't hear anything different. Three, four, five, nothing's different. I can't see, they're still conscious, but there's no sound coming out. So back into recovery, one, and I'm looking and I'm, always hoping to hear some change in the airway being obstructed. So one, two, three, four, five, nothing on their back. One, two, three. But remember, you're looking for a change. As soon as you can hear them, any kind of sound, sound means that air is getting through. That's fantastic. So a full blockage, you're trying to hear a difference or see it shoot out. Maybe it was a marble. And when you did these first, one, two, the marble shot out, or the, the Lego, or whatever it was. By the way, if it is Lego, when you're doing your airway check, if you can see Lego, get the Lego out. Get, 
get the Lego out, get the marble or whatever it is, okay? That's the baby. Child is the same thing. One, two, three. Again, you're listening and you're looking to see. So, if there's no sound and you're one, two, three, four, uh, stop. As soon as you hear a sound, stop. And that's great, they're starting to cough, which means it's a partial blockage now. It was a full blockage, now it's a partial. Okay, but if nothing's happening, there's nothing changing and it's still no sound, it's one, two, three, four, five, nothing's coming out, there's no sound changing on your back. And I can't do it from a sitting position. I've got to get up over them like in CPR. One, two, three, I need two hands because I'm weak. Four, five, okay? Again, if you heard anything, any kind of sound, you'd stop. As soon as you hear some difference, you stop. But there's no change. On your side, one, two, three, four, Oh, the Lego popped out. Wonderful. Okay, they're still coughing, but coughing is a good thing. It's a good indicator that they can breathe now. So you just reassure, keep coughing, keep coughing. Cough it out, it's okay, I'm here, it's okay. If you haven't called an ambulance already, you would have called one before. Think about multitasking, you know, mobile phone, speakerphone, 112, 000. But you're looking for any sign of sound coming out of them or the actual obstacle coming out. If it hasn't worked, back on their back, five more. So it's five, 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 five while they're conscious. When they are unconscious, it is doctors A, B, C, D, it is CPR. For an adult, same thing. Adults, now this is difficult for me, I'm not strong, I'm, I'm wimpy arms. So if I've got an 80 kilo person, I don't have the physical strength to give them enough back blows, but I can try my best. And plus adrenaline gives you lots of strength. So hand through the front, because if I don't protect them through the front, if I do that, it just makes them move forward. So you want to hold them through the front, so that when you do this, two, three, oh, the state came out. Fantastic, you saved their lives. They'll keep coughing, blah, blah, blah. Regain their dignity, I suppose, and dribbling all over themselves, but that's fantastic. Full blockage, partial blockage. Full blockage, partial blockage. So remember with an adult though, they're not making a sound, they're not moving, it's a full blockage, they're panicked. You say, okay, and you try. One, two, three, four, five. Notice leaning forward, not leaning back, leaning forward. So one, two, there's no sound coming out. Three, no sound. Four, no sound. Five, no sound. Nope, he's still full blockage, no sound. I say get on the ground and I do five compressions. One, two, and I'm looking at the casualty. Three, is anything coming out? Are they going Ugh. No. Five, nothing. Back on your side. One, two, three, four. The benefit of this is that we're down the ground. If this was a, a strong person, I don't have the strength to do this, but I have got the strength up and over them to do the five chest thrusts for the full blockage choke. All right, now I'm gonna get a real person and show you my lovely assistant, Dustin. Look, it's a mannequin. <laughs> right, is your head in shot? Come down a little bit, I'm not sure. Yep. Yep, all right. Yep. So now we've got a real person. Oh, sit up, as if you were choking. <coughs> to go, oh, oh, <coughs> so, do I smack him? If he's choking, I keep co keep coughing, keep coughing, and no, you can't hit them. Stop it! No, we don't do Heimlich. No, 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 no. Okay, keep coughing. It's alright. And if you're worried, you call triple zero. Okay, keep coughing. Yeah, stop coughing. I'm still really weak coughing. Now, the thing is, he was eating that chat, that steak, and it got really stuck. Now, so there's no sound. So now he's really in trouble. There's a big difference between a coughing sound and a no sound. And that's the thing we're gonna look at. So if I just smack him, I'm just gonna push his body forward, okay? So I need to hold him through the front and I'm holding onto his shoulder and I'm not holding him up in the throat. I'm not up in his throat, I'm across his chest. And if this was real, I wouldn't be giving a demonstration. <laughs> so I hold him through the front and it's the, the whole hand, one, two, three, and I'm, I'm listening for the sound. There's no sound coming out. 
If I do say on three, do a big uh, sound. One, two, three. <coughs> okay. So you stop. You stop when you hear the sound, when you feel a difference in the casualty. Okay? Keep coughing, keep coughing, keep coughing. All right? So we'll pretend that you're still no sound and there's a full blockage. One, two, three, four, five. And there's still nothing. Lay down. Lay on your back. Lay on your back. And then I'll measure up. And he's still conscious, and I will do one, two, not real because it's a real person, three, and there's still no sound, four, oh, go right this side, go right this side, go right this side. You see the difference? Bring your body back a foot so we can see on camera. So when they start coughing, they're going to want to go on the side because it's a, a reflex. And he can keep coughing and we can reassure him <coughs> and do all that. Okay? Okay, stop. So come to class and you can learn choking. You can practice this on your friends and family. The back blows, please do not practice chest compressions for CPR or for choking ever. Thank you very much. We'll see you in class. That's good. <laughs>